Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Back with a Does It Basketball. Yes, yeah, so. Of a non basketball shoe. I like to take technology. Because, like, when companies come up with new technologies and stuff like that, they usually they'll put it in a basketball shoe first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They usually put it on a runner, like a casual shoe, or whatever. Um, and this is a new te technology, the Air Max 270. Mm -hmm. Now, we've seen implementations of Air Max, um, but this is a 270. And uh, I want to see if it feels good for basketball because, mm -hmm. you know, I want to see if Nike should put it in their basketball shoes, especially with, you know, like Epic, Re Epic React cushion, this cushion, stuff like that. So, um, anyways, Air Max 70 does it basketball. 270, sorry. Mm -hmm. What did I say? 70. Oh, Air Max 270 does it basketball. So, let's start it off right with the traction. We got some rubber notches. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm. It actually grips. And I don't know why um, how or how some companies fuck up with a basketball shoe. And this is better than some basketball shoes. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, the, the bite is not crazy, but it just doesn't like want, slip out. It's kind of weird. You know, like... Is it, the bite is not is not bad. It's actually pretty good, but it's not on like Kyrie two D row seven status. Um, but yeah, I mean, even dust, it doesn't really like affect it and um, doesn't really like <clears throat> slide out that, right. like a lot. So that's good. Outdoor use is probably should be okay. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, these little rubber paws are somewhat thick. Yeah, but I don't know about in the heel though. I feel like yeah. that you'll probably wear through the heel pretty quickly on outdoor courts, but. Traction's not bad. Mm. I was pretty surprised. So there's that. Now moving on to the cushion setup. So you have the very soft um, dual density or whatever cushion in the forefoot. And that feels really nice. They should just use a full length cushion of this in the basketball shoe. And I'd be happy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is the Air Max unit in the heel. The 270 unit. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um... I want to recommend it, saying it's not bad or it's actually pretty nice, but there are some things that are kind of not good about it. So uh, one thing that's not good about it is you're really high off the ground. You're like 33 millimeters off the ground plus like the insole, mm -hmm. which is insanely high. Uh, you have a really high offset also, so you feel like, like you know, your foot sliding to the front of the yeah. shoe because it's so high, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to feel it because when you're walking, uh, you know, you don't put your heel down like with a lot of force and then go like this. Mm -hmm. I just walk like this, right? Right? Or yeah. is that just me? I don't know. People walk differently. I just walk like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, when you're running and playing ball, uh, you can feel it a little bit more, but you still don't really. You're on your toes a little bit more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, and also it doesn't feel super unstable, as in like. Um, Laterally? Yeah, yeah. I didn't feel like I wanted to roll my ankle because uh, on the side it's like a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then in the heel, uh, in the back of the heel is actually where it's super thick. So that's where it really wants to compress. Yeah. So um, instability wise, it wasn't like horrible. I was actually pretty surprised even for playing ball. Um, the only thing I didn't really like about it was uh, how high you felt. Um, and there, I, I kind of like the little bounce in your step when you actually plant your heel into the ground when, you, when you're playing mm -hmm. you do that sometimes so uh, heel to toe, toe transition is not bad impact protection is not bad you just feel you know, like court feel is not very good mm -hmm. um, and there's a slight little bounce in the heel um, if you like that so um, it, there, there were some good parts and there were some bad parts about the cushion so there's that yeah or the upper you have like an engineered mesh yes uh, it's Pretty nice. Engineered mesh is pretty cool. Yes. You know, it, it, it looks somewhat premium uh, as opposed to some other like shittier meshes they use sometimes. Exactly. Right. And I like what Nike does with their materials. They don't make it too stretchy. It's really soft and pliable, right? You, you can change the shape of it obviously really easily, but it doesn't really stretch too much. Um, so I really like that. You know, mm -hmm. it feels very thin, uh, very light. So materials on the basketball shoe is, is actually uh, super nice material mm -hmm. so uh, there's that moving on the fit fit was also really nice i went down half a size for a super snug fit and um one booty upper so no tongue no tongue it's really it's actually pretty easy to uh put on 
and yeah uh fit is really nice no toe space runs like narrower than normal width um pretty tight mm -hmm. and there's no toe space so fit was really nice mm -hmm. uh support supporting um it's actually not bad. Mm. Um, I didn't. I didn't have any really like lateral containment issues. Yeah, they did a little bit of reinforcing, like in yeah. the toe, a little bit on on the lateral side. Yeah, and on the medial side, which is cool. Yeah, and yeah, so lateral containment was not bad. Um, even though I said it wasn't like crazy unstable, I would still say like it, it wasn't the best stability for basketball. For basketball, yeah. obviously, and if you're bigger, you're probably gonna feel a little bit more unstable. And also, lockdown wasn't bad. Heel slippage wasn't. Uh, I didn't have any heel slippage, so uh, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Now moving on the weight. Yes, this is a very light shoe. I think it's like nine point something a lot ounces. Of air in there. Yes, nine point four five ounces. Does it feel light? Yes, it feels super light. Mm. Um, you just feel super high off the ground. So yeah. There's that. Uh, durability? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think it'll be the most durable for yeah. playing ball. Yeah, for so, ball. Um, yeah. Definitely not an outdoor shoe. Nope. You know, um, okay, moving on to ventilation. Very good. Mm. And basketball shoes should have ventilation like this, but they Very just don't. Much so. Yes, I mean like you don't need a lot of material in, in this no. part of the toe. You can let out a lot of heat. Yeah, you, know? you can let out a lot of heat, make it thin, make it, you know, make put some few uh, a few holes in it or something. Yeah. You know, you just need more of the supportive materials here on the side, you know. Mm. But anyways. Yeah, uh, aesthetics. I like it. I think they're dope. Yeah. Very dope. And Nike's pushing this silhouette and they're yeah. um, releasing a lot of colorway suits. So. Yep. Um, anyways, let's wrap it up. Does it basketball? What's the price? So 150 that's Ooh. pretty damn expensive for a basketball yeah. shoe. Um, does it basketball? It's not bad. Mm. I mean, it's not definitely not as good as like the Epic React and it's definitely not gonna be like a <laughs> Like in your rotation kind of shoe. Yeah. You know? But if you're just uh, kind of casually balling, it should be fine. Yeah. Um, can the Air, this Air Max 270 unit be used in a basketball shoe? I would say Probably not, uh, especially Nike. They like to be a little bit more conservative with their shit, especially yeah. for basketball, because <clears throat> uh, you know they put the fucking like React Core into a basketball shoe. Thinking, yeah. Probably thinking like it would be a little too unstable or something. Yeah. Uh, so I, I feel like if they uh, thinned out the 270 or the, the Air Max unit a little bit, you know, um, it actually wouldn't be bad. There actually is a slight bounce in the heel. It kind of reminds me of like a zoom unit a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but definitely not as bouncy and definitely not as good feeling, but it feels, uh, the heel actually doesn't feel bad. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't like how like your foot still rests on like a freaking diving board. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that kind of concept. So, um, but uh, I feel like this would be actually not bad if they thinned it out and stuff like that on the basketball mm -hmm. shoe. Um, and if you felt Air Max, it kind of feels like Air Max, but a little bit more like extreme. So, um, anyways, uh, does it basketball? Yeah, but th it doesn't basketball like too well. There, there, sh there would be some changes that I would make to the shoe, but um, I was surprised that it actually does kind of basketball. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later.